just got the construction of the bottom within three hours and 30 minutes. I'm in pieces. And look at this guy, Dow, from 400 Runners, who's the cub behind it. It's really, really quirky road race, sorry, off road race, 30 miles over fields, streams, bogs, and all sorts of stuff. You can see the state of my legs down here, it's not pretty. So, why'd you do it, Dow? So, three years ago, I sort of um, got my old OS map out and started, um, you know, going on some walks and just. Uh, uh, the course didn't come together overnight sort of thing, it took various different walks, I put bits in, I took bits out until I, I found the course um, that I was happy with sort of thing. And obviously I pitched it to the club um, and they sort of went for it, everyone got on board, you know, there's like nearly 50 marshals out on the course, um, who, who, you know, give up their time to, to make sure that the event can go ahead sort of thing. Like, so, to... Quite amazing course, I mean, what I've been, I've been from Rand, but it takes you on places you didn't, didn't know existed. Yeah, so in the first year we run it, I had uh, quite a few people come up to me and sort of said that afterwards that, uh, you know, I've lived around this area all, all my, and never knew half of those paths existed or where they went or sort of thing like that. To, to sort of, to hear, to hear the comments afterwards and everything, you know, it's some of the feedback, you know, it's 99% positive. People seem to love love the event sort of thing. It's, uh, I'm under no uh, uh, sort of false illusions. It's, it's an extremely tough event. I mean, obviously I'm a runner myself and I designed the course with... Uh, obviously being the race director with no intention of ever having to race it myself but uh, a few people have told me that's going to change in the next couple of years so whether I'll actually end up uh, on the start line myself one day I don't know but uh... Uh, it's the start of the Cumbran Bog and Brin race down at Cumbran Stadium we're in the first mile of Bog and Brin and we're just at the canal at Two Locks this is possibly the stupidest thing I've ever done on a Sunday morning just left the canal at Chulux and we're heading towards the fields, towards the, the back of Hollybush I would guess. And it's very wet, and extremely muddy. Two miles in, there's definitely a bit of walking. And this is why the Bog and Brin is called the Bog and Brin. That's not pretty. Oh god. But this is what we're facing right now. Why have you volunteered today, Rich? Uh, I don't know, it's better than running it. <laughs> I've run it in training, it's too hard. I don't fancy racing it. <laughs> now this just isn't fun at all. And they've made us, by use of these ropes, go through it. <laughs> yep, another seven or eight miles to go, at least. This is one of those bits of the race I love. Oh, look in some fields and stuff which I never, ever, ever, ever come across. As I towards Newport there in the distance, um, I'm going this way. It might look like I'm walking, but I'm jogging really, really, really slowly. Just to the woods there, it's beautiful. At this reservoir. Looking up towards Tumbalam, it's a beautiful valley leading up towards, I guess that's my mining come around, just tucked in beyond those farm houses in the distance. There's about 40 or 50 volunteers on the course today. Tucked on there, just styles, edges of lanes, you know, letting you know, you know which way to go. I think everyone wants to thank them because without them, this race wouldn't take place. And one of them, I just give me a jelly baby. She's my new best friend. The next stage is this lovely soft grass lined bit of the forest. It's lovely, great fun, honest. And we just made to embark them. There's the public car park behind us. You can see some people in the distance. We've made it, but the route doesn't take you on top of it, it takes you around it. Probably one of my favourite bits of the course. Nice sweeping view over towards Cumbran in the distance. I've just been told by Angela, one of the volunteers, that you've got three miles to go into the mist down there in Cumbran.